Could AI end your photography career? Let's find out. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. When I started hearing about all this AI nonsense, I was just thinking to myself, this is truly the stupidest thing in the world. Now, AI, when it comes to photography, that's where my head goes, right? Like at the end of the day, you still have to create. You need models and or subjects. And don't get me wrong, some of the results are absolutely beautiful and stunning, but the line between artist and photographer and copyright and image releases, like it's all getting blurred. And at the end of the day, I don't know if you feel the same way, but there's no practical application for it. And that's really all my mind could think about is like, who cares? At the end of the day, I'm running a business. There's other humans that want me to take their picture. How am I making money by having some AI engine start taking pictures or making pictures because I put in dark, moody, cloudy, sky, model, it doesn't make any sense to me, but I'm not gonna lie. I saw this tool, this ad. It's by a company, which I'll show you here in a second, and I'm not looking to promote the company. I'm not getting paid by the company. It's just something that as professional photographers, I think we have to be aware of, concerned with. Is it the end of the world? Is the sky falling? Probably not yet, but this technology is something to definitely be concerned about. So let's take a look at this. All right, so this is a company called Studio Shot. I was targeted by them on Instagram, clicked on it. I was intrigued, I'm not gonna lie. I get to their site and it, they're talking about headshots, premium headshots for professionals. Okay, now you got my attention because at the end of the day, a bride is not gonna defer to AI to document her wedding day, right? That's just not gonna work. Now, are there AI tools that can help change the sky, change the scenery, remove maybe one of those bridesmaids you don't talk to anymore from your pictures? Of course, but it's not going to stop us from having to document these moments in time. But headshots, that's kind of an interesting little niche there, right? Because doctors, lawyers, they need their headshots. They've got plenty of iPhone shots, but they just don't look professional enough. So again, this is intrigued me. So I clicked on it and I go to their site, as you can see here. What they'll do is, and I can't stress this enough, I'm not endorsing them. And I know by making this video, I'm, I'm bringing attention to them, but I'm bringing attention to us in the photography community that this is probably something you need to be aware of. You need to understand how good or bad it is. You need to understand how to combat it when it comes to dealing with your clients because they're gonna see this stuff, right? I guarantee you they're targeting professionals uh, with this. And so what I found interesting is right here, you can choose from executive, actor, actress, LinkedIn, real estate, charcoal gray, dramatic black, warm white, bright white, uh, a host of different styles to, to pick from. How it works, it really couldn't be easier and that's the scariest part here. You upload, upload phone selfies, choose a photography style, use your headshot. Now, at this point, I'm thinking to myself, could it possibly be this easy? And the truth is, for $29, I was willing to take a shot. And that's all it was. So Alyssa, my wife, and myself, we tried this. We submitted a host of images from professional shots to selfie pictures, and the results are quite interesting. So this is how easy it is, right? And the site advertises two-day turnaround time. Alyssa got hers back in one day. Mine took two days. Just simplicity of it and their accuracy. And so here's what we did. I'm gonna show you these. Here's what Alyssa submitted for her images. So these are all shots that I've either taken over the years or some selfie shots, but it's different lighting, different posing, different quality, right? Some are selfie, some are professional, some are edited, some are not. Some she's got makeup, no makeup on, right? So just plethora of images for AI to go off and put her selfies together. So less than 24 hours goes by, she gets her results back and they submit they give her 80 different headshots to choose from. So let, let me show you these, it's, it's, it's insanity. Now it didn't hit the mark on everything, right? Like, so you're seeing here, there's a resemblance to her, but that's not my wife, right? And so now there are certain images where I'm like, damn, that's pretty good. Your AI is hot. And then there's just some that it's not her. Like I think this one looks good of her. So I'm just gonna cycle through these. This one for sure, I think it, if we put this on the website, or on a business card or something small, no one's gonna challenge this. Everybody's gonna be like, okay, that's her, it's, clo it's close enough, right? And then there's some like 
I'm finding that AI is having trouble with teeth. It just doesn't know how to get those quite right. Different hairstyles she's got. Part is on the right or wrong side of her head, so it doesn't really, it's not really following that. But some of these shots are just stunning of her. So I'll cycle through these real quick. You can pause the video if you want to look at them closer. Like a shot like this, I think that's, I think that looks just like her. The straight hair, right? So hair type, uh, it's a little weak. This shot, I think looks like her. I've gone out to dinner with her. She, that looks like her to me. So, and the other thing you should be noticing here is a difference in wardrobe, different environments, different lighting conditions. I mean, for $29? Now, I think with my wife, they did a great job. Me, on the other hand, not so good. Maybe that's why mine took two days to come back. So here's what we submitted for me. So mine are a little, were a little trickier because one, I don't have a whole lot of selfies. Two, there's an age range on these images that we've taken. There's, I mean, some of these are six, seven, eight, nine years old in range. And so my hair in some of them is darker. Some of it's got more white, right? Different lighting conditions. I mean, that's not a bad selfie right, different expressions. So we gave them a you know, good medley of images here to choose from. Well, these do not look like me. And, and you know, you let me know in the comments, uh, maybe I'm just being critical because it's me and we all hate the way we look. Maybe like the way I'm looking at Alyssa and I'm like, well, that's her. Because my wife had the same kind of reaction that that doesn't really look like me. But is it close enough? Like as you're looking at these images of me and my wife, are they close enough? Let me know in the comments. He, these pictures of me, I look, there's an actor, I can't think of his name. He, um, it couldn't get my hair right. Like sometimes I'm bald up top, some, some, because my hair is white up top. And so, and sometimes it gave me dark hair, which I don't have. Some like this, not bad. There's an actor, this one, there's an actor. He plays a cop and I can't think of his name, but that's who I see when I see this one. He's been in tons of cop shows like this. My, my hair doesn't look like this. But I marked green here, some I thought were, looked like me. Like, I feel like this one, that's pretty damn close. This one, pretty damn close, pretty damn close. So I'm curious what you guys think as we cycle through these. They're giving you, again, different lighting. Here, I'm in a suit and tie, right? It's professional. So here's the thing. Again, I'm not endorsing this in any way, shape, or form. I found it fascinating because on one hand, AI is quite fascinating on what it, what, what it can do for us as photographers, right? As a tool, as creating inspirational mood boards on what you wanna do in a certain location, in certain lighting. I mean, that's kind of interesting, right? To think about how it can work there. I don't see it replacing my craft, but then I see a tool like this and I go, well, shit. In my case, they gave me 113 different images. So what if only five are good enough? I didn't have to leave my house. I didn't have to schedule an appointment. I didn't have to pay 200 bucks, go through some wonky sales cycle. And if I'm a doctor or a lawyer and I don't have time, is this good enough for me? I, time will tell, right? We don't know the answer. But one thing is for sure, this tool is not going away. And here's my prediction. It's only going to get better. That's the part that should concern all of us. Man, this is in the early trials right now. And so as these things become smarter and smarter, they're going to get things closer and closer to reality. And again, no cost to them. This is, this is profit. This is computer power. This is artificial intelligence. And so am I concerned on how this will impact us as photographers? I'm concerned. As far as what level of concern on a scale of one to five right now, five being, you know, we probably need to find a new career. I'm a one or a two. These are things that are definitely gonna impact what our clients see, but nothing is gonna replace the value of what we bring to the table. The experience, right? AI is not going to provide your customers an experience, and you have to be aware of that because I've been preaching this since my days on Creative Live. The customer experience supersedes all, right? And so, don't get me wrong, there's clients who, who want nothing to do with a customer experience. They don't care about a customer experience. It's not of no interest to them. They want fast, they want cheap, Right? They want that mini session in the park for $9.99 for 15 minutes. That's not your client, right? Those clients are gonna gravitate to tools like this. They're gonna take their headshots, their selfies, they're gonna submit it to this engine and it's good enough. Over time, I am cautiously pessimistic. I think this will impact us and we have to understand how tools like this are going to change the way we look. So let me know what you thought in the comments, if the pictures are good enough, where your level of concern is on a scale of one to five. And if you like this video, Comment, like, and subscribe. We'll see you in the next video.